Welcome back to the first Descendants. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the 21 Ultimate Weapons that will be coming out with the full release in just a few hours. All 21 weapons have a variety of different abilities that's going to work great with certain characters. Now, I will try my best to give you a certain character to pair up with this weapon as to best of my ability. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, how do you get ultimate weapons well there's a few ways it can be available through world drops by defeating bosses by completing dungeons or missions or they can be crafted in the research vendor in albion now all weapons take a bunch of different materials to craft between each weapon that requires different materials but overall the research materials needed is more or less the same for most of the weapons so for example the fallen hope ultimate rifle that you can see on screen right now requires a synctium, a synthetic fiber, a nanotube, and obviously the Fallen Hope blueprint. Let's jump in with the first weapon. This is an ultimate shotgun called Smithereens. Now, for every weapon we're going to be looking at, the special ability is at the top, and right there in the basic information are the negative points to each weapon. So, the special ability for this weapon is called Fearlessness. On hitting the enemy with all bullets, increases the firearm critical hit rate and firearm critical damage on the attack upon landing a critical hit on an enemy, grants the firearm's unique ability called Amplification. And you do get a minus 25 in fire rate and a minus 70 in aim recovery speed. So, this weapon is going to be great for a crit build character that you can go ahead and create with certain characters, for example, a Sharon or a Bunny. At number two, we have Greg's Reversed Fates. This is an ultimate tactical rifle. A special ability, Shaping Destiny, on hitting an enemy with a max shield, proc bombardment on the enemy's location with a set chance, inflicts a burn on an enemy's hit by a bombardment, which is pretty cool. Minus 20 in hip fire accuracy and minus 20 in aimed shot accuracy. Now, for this character, my best choice would probably to go with a character like Blair. At number 3, we have the Blue Beetle Ultimate Scout Rifle. Now, its special ability is called Arcane Wave. It's kind of a weird one, but I'll try to explain it a little bit easier. Now, when using a fusion skill, it's gonna grant you the Arcane Energy buff, which will go ahead and increase your critical hit rate. Now, using a singular skill will give you the buff of Purification, which goes ahead and removes debuffs from you. Which sounds pretty good, and if I was going to give you a character to pair with this weapon, it'd probably be with maybe Bunny or Eugene. At number 4, we have the Restored Relic Ultimate Launcher. Its special ability called Ancient Technique fires a guided round with a set chance on hitting an enemy with the guided round, inflicts Ancient's Fire to the target. And Ancient Fire will deal firearm damage over time. It's basically just a very, very big grenade launcher which has a massive AoE effect with fire and deals a bunch of damage. So this pretty much works with any character. At number 5, we have the Clairvoyance Beam Rifle Ultimate Weapon. The special ability is called The Thing Beyond. So the thing is with beam rifles in the first ascendance, the longer that you hold the weapon dealing damage to an opponent, deals more damage over time. So the longer you hold it, the more damage you do. So for example, hitting an enemy with a stage 2 beam inflicts void gaze on the target. Hitting an enemy with stage 3 beam inflicts appalling calling on the target. This effect is considered to be the same effect as frostbites in some modes. So yeah, definitely an interesting way to play the game. At number 6, we have the Divine Punishment Ultimate Assault Rifle. Its special ability called Prayer, granting a buff to allies, excluding yourself, will grant the unique ability Meditation to yourself. Recovering an ally's HP, shield, MP, and resources, excluding yourself, will grant the unique ability Praise to yourself. Inflicting a debuff on an enemy will grant the unique ability Glory to yourself. So the Meditation buff will increase your defense, and Praise will reduce your skill cooldown. And then Glory, which is your final one, will increase your firearm attack. Now, obviously, this weapon is going to work absolutely great with utility builds and utility type of players, which most likely is going to be you, J-Bar, Viesa, or Eugene character players. Coming in at number 7, we have the final Masterpiece Ultimate Handgun. Now, this one is actually quite different to anything that I've seen in the game so far. 
every time that you reload this weapon, it's going to give you out of three different buffs. Superb Performance, which will increase your weak point damage against enemies. Your Beautiful Appearance buff will increase crit hit rate. An awesome feature will increase your fire rate. Now, if you reload the weapon and get the same special ability again, it will actually increase that special ability. So, for example, if you already have Superb Performance, which is your weak point damage increase, if you reload again and get Superb Performance once again, it's going to times that by two. Which, to be honest, so far, it sounds pretty good for all characters. At number 8, we have an ultimate hand cannon called Nazistra's Devotion. Its special ability called Fanaticism is pretty unique actually considering they're all unique, but this one, on hitting an, an enemy's weak point, inflicts the unique ability Devotion's Mark will reduce their defense. Now, on hitting an ally, the ally's shield is restored at the cost of your MP. If your current MP is less than the MP cost, this effect is not triggered. So this is going to work great with all support characters considering it is a support character weapon. Now obviously causing an enemy's weak point to be reduced and their defense system being reduced while giving your allies a shield increase will work great. So you Jaber or your Eugene characters is going to work perfect. At number 9 we have another hand cannon called the Penetrator. Special ability Detect on hitting a weak point, inflicts damage to the enemy's shield in proportion to their max shield at a set chance. The higher the firearm level, the closer this damage reaches the max limit. When damage dealt with to an enemy completely depletes the target enemy's shield, inflicts stun with a set chance. So yeah, again, this is going to work pretty well with any character, considering you're able to remove a shield from an enemy and also stun them at the same time, allowing you to switch to a more powerful weapon, for example, a sniper rifle, a grenade launcher, a shotgun, you can deal a lot more damage considering the enemy will be stunned. So great for all characters. At number 10, we have an ultimate shotgun called the Executor. Now this one is pretty cool. Its special ability, Impending Judgment, is definitely an interesting one. So it says, on hitting an enemy with all your bullets grants the unique ability Executor's Exaltation, which will basically increase your accuracy, and this can be stacked up to 5 times. Now it says, if all the fired bullets do not hit an enemy whilst this effect is active, it decreases the effect by 1. At the highest stage, so once you max out this stacks up to 5 times, and if you hit all your bullets on an enemy, the buffs are used and you gain an increase in firearm attack power. And that will give the debuff of electrocution on the target. Now hitting an enemy that has electrocution, this will give you an increase in firearm attack once again. So yeah, this is basically the one shotgun that we've seen so far and it's an amazing one for all the Bunny and Sharon characters. It's going to work absolutely great, definitely going to cause a lot of damage, and it's a shotgun overall, so yeah, you're typically going to be getting a lot of damage output with this weapon. At number 11, we have an ultimate submachine gun called the Python. Special ability, Python Instinct, on hitting the enemy's weak point, inflicts the unique ability of Prey to the target. So Prey is going to reduce their toxic resistance and also reduce their defense, so a great weapon for Freyna as she specializes in toxic weapons. Up next is a ultimate machine gun called Enduring Legacy. Special ability called Craftsmanship is on hitting an enemy, increases status effects trigger rate, corresponding to the elements fire, chill, electric and toxic and inflicts the unique ability quenching to the target. Now quenching will basically reduce the fire resistance of that enemy and then hitting a burning enemy will increase your firearm attack. So this is going to be absolutely great for Blair. Perfect weapon, just like the Python was perfect for Freyna. So yeah, go ahead and use that if you are going to be using Blair. Next up is a, another machine gun ultimate weapon called Albion Cavalry Gun. Cavalry is its special ability, and this is on hitting a stunned enemy, increases attack and apply the effect to the attack. When achieving a critical hit on a stunned enemy, there is a set chance to inflict stun on the enemy once again. 
So overall, not really a certain character is going to work perfect with this weapon, but if I was going to give you one, it would probably work really well with maybe an Ajax or a Sharon. Up next is a ultimate tactical rifle called the Secret Garden, with a special ability called Gardener. When using a dimensional skill, recovers custom resources with a set chance. When using a tech skill, grants the unique ability Pest Control with a set chance. So what pest control will allow you to do more or less is basically increase your firearm attack and your skill power which is going to work absolutely great once again with ajax or a character like kyle up next is a scout rifle ultimate weapon called the wave of light its special ability splendor after reloading grants the unique ability solar halo on hitting an enemy while solar halo is active inflict lunar halo on the target enemy with a set chance Solar Halo will increase your firearm crit rate and reduces recoil, while Lunar Halo will reduce the enemy's regeneration by 50%. So as far as I know, the Scout Rifles are actually pretty damn powerful in the First Ascendance, so this character and sorry, this weapon is going to work with any character really with its special ability kind of really helping you out as a solo player. Up next is a Sniper Rifle ultimate weapon called the Afterglow Sword special ability called Nightmare Reaper. On hitting an enemy's weak point, inflicts the unique ability Death Propagation. On hitting an enemy commander or colossi, increases firearm critical hit rate and apply the effect to the attack. Death Propagation will increase your reload time and also your weak point damage will have an increase. So yeah, this weapon is definitely going to be great for a character like Glay. And that's about it to really tell about them. Overall, it's a sniper rifle, so it's going to be pretty powerful anyway to use on any character. But to get the most out of it, Glay is probably your best pick. Next up is another sniper rifle called Piercing Light. The Purification of Light is his special ability. On hitting a weak point, inflicts Dispel on the enemy with a set chance. When two or more enemies are hit by a single shot, there is a high chance to land a critical hit on the enemies while also increasing critical hit damage and applying this buff to the attack. The ability Dispel will basically just remove any buff from the enemy that you've just hit with. So yeah, definitely removing a buff from an enemy is just great for any character. Not really a specific character that you have to use for this weapon, it's going to be great all round. Up next is a beam rifle once again called the King's Guard Lance with a special ability called Guardian. Aiming activates preview mode. When cancelling the aim, deactivates preview mode. When firing while aiming, deploys the unique ability Guardian Lance on the terrain and consumes a set amount of ammo upon deployment. The deployed Guardian Lance lasts for a set amount of time and hitting the Guardian Lance deals damage to nearby enemies. Each time the deployed Guardian Lance is hit, its duration and range are slightly increased. So yeah, this definitely sounds like a pretty cool weapon that could basically be used as kind of like a overtime damage dealing ability. Seems pretty cool, we'll see how that works. Now, if I was going to give you a character to use this weapon with, I don't really have anything for sure, but if I was, maybe something like Glay. Next up is another assault rifle called the Falling Hope. Its Peridition is a special ability. Now, on hitting a poisoned enemy, will increase the firearm attack and apply this buff to the attack. On defeating a poisoned enemy, the defeated enemy will trigger an explosion with a certain chance, inflicting additional damage to nearby enemies, inflict poison on enemies damaged by the explosion. So you're going to be just poisoning a bunch of enemies, especially enemies that are going to be crowded together. You're going to be causing explosions, inflicting debuffs to enemies with poison. It's going to be great. So this is going to work well with a lot of characters, pretty much all characters, but specifically Freyna will get the most out of it. Next up, we have a submachine gun called Thunder Cage, a special ability called Overcharge. When defeating an enemy, the defeated enemy has a set chance to discharge electric shockwaves that deals additional damage to nearby enemies. Yeah, so once again, probably Bunny is going to get the most out of this weapon considering it is an electric weapon. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool. And lastly, we have a handgun ultimate weapon called the Last Dagger. Ultimatum, it's a special ability. Defeating an enemy grants patience. On hitting an enemy while at max stacks, fires enhanced 
rounds. So patience will increase your crit hit rate and fire attack and can be stacked up to 5 times. Now, on hitting an enemy with an enhanced round with patience, effect is reset and the enemy is stunned. So yeah, that is sounds pretty cool and quite useful. Overall, that is all the weapons that we have right now in the full release of the game coming in just a few hours. There will obviously be a lot more with the video I just recently uploaded with the seasonal roadmap. So yeah, we're going to be getting a lot more in the near future. The update comes in, in a, every couple of months, so we're going to be getting a lot more. By the time you've collected everything and used everything, there's going to be another update giving you even more. Let me know in the comments what character you're going to be using in the full release. I don't know 100% what I'm going to be using, but Bunny was actually pretty cool to me. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon.